structural theory one our concern here are structurally our structures which are statically determined these are structures wherein you can analyze them using the three static equations summation of forces horizontal or vertical and the summation of moments first discussion for this mid year is the degree of indeterminacy for trusses the ID is equal to M plus R minus 2N. Where in your N is equal to the number of joints. M is the number of members. And R is the number of support reactions. Okay, let's uh, look at this example or this figure. For this figure, there are 15 members. There are 6 reactions. And there are 8 uh, joints. So, if we're going to substitute these uh, values to the equation for the ID, the degree of indeterminacy for this truss is equal to 5. For frames, ID is equal to 3M plus R minus 3N. Again, the same, pareho yung ibig sabihin ng M, ng R, at saka ng N. Let's look at this example. For this frame, there are seven joints there are six still in frames there are some frames wherein um, additional pins additional internal pins are included in the structure this is to lessen the degree of indeterminacy so for frames with the uh, internal pins your equation now becomes id is equal to 3m plus r minus 3n minus the number of internal pin Let's have this example. Now, as you can see there in the figure, there are three pins. So, if we're going to determine the number of joints for this uh, structure, there are seven joints, there are six members, and there are seven reactions. Now, there may include na internal pins. Since tatlo yung internal pins, you have to... Uh, subtract that one. So, substituting these values dun sa may equation ng ID, the ID now becomes equal to 1. Structural degrees of freedom. As I've said during the Google Meet, degrees of freedom pertains to the displacement of your structure. Now, considering this, let's look again at this uh, example. Yung kulay red na nakikita ninyo, is the exaggerated deflection for this truss. Truss, pay lang ba ito eh? So, the possible component of displacement at nodes, I've got 10. Paano ko nakuha ngayon si 10? Now, if we're going to count the number of nodes, wag, wag nyo munang i-consider yung mga supports. Okay. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 nodes for this truss. Since this is a truss, and as discussed dun sa previous slide, may dalawang displacements sa node kapag truss ang usapan. Since dalawa yung displacement niya, horizontal at saka vertical lang, yung node ngayon, multiply nyo sa 2. So, there are 5 nodes. If I multiply these 5 nodes by 2, the number of displacement at nodes is equal to 10. Ito ngayon kay point B. Itong si point B, since roller siya at walang horizontal support kay point B, ag magmumove si point B horizontally. Kaya mayroon siyang 1 na displacement. Now, for the total number of degrees of freedom for this truss, that is equal to 10 plus 1, which is now equal to 11. And, ulitin ko lang, kapag trust ang usapan and you are considering the node, all you have to do is to count the number of nodes and multiply that by 2, dun yung makukuha yung possible components of displacements at nodes. Trust, at trust ang usapan dito. So again, for this trust, 
uh, the possible components of displacements at nodes is equal to 10. Paano ko nakuha si 10? Excluding again the supports, count the nodes. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 nodes. Since this is a truss, all I have to do is multiply this by 2. So, 5 times 2 is equal to 10. And we have already uh, discussed in the previous slides, the degree of indeterminacy for this truss is equal to 5. And there are 15 members. So, the total number of degrees of freedom is equal to 10. What is the difference of this figure to the previous figure? For trusses, if the ID is equal to 0, the degree of freedom is equal to M, or the number of members. If ID is not equal to 0, the degree of freedom is equal to M minus ID. Again, Etong condition na ito ay para lang sa mga truss. Kapag yung truss, the degree of indeterminacy is equal to 0, your degree of freedom is equal to the, the number of members. Kapag naman yung degree of indeterminacy hindi siya equal to 0, yung degree of freedom that is equal to M minus ID. Again, itong condition na to para lang sa trusses. Okay? Frames. Now, for the degree of freedom of frames, magkaiba ang computation or analysis ng degree of freedom ng truss at saka yung degree of freedom ng frame. There, this 12, it not, ito, paano ko ulit siya nakuha? First, you have to count the number of nodes. For in this case, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 nodes. Multiply that by 3, that is equal to 12. Ag multiply kayo lang ti 3, no frame. Ngam no trust ti tungtungan, ginode, i-multiply you by 2. Then do not forget, you have to consider the displacement at every support. Now for this um, example, my answer to this is 2. Paano ko nakuha si 2? Again, there is an internal pin. Kapag yung frame may internal pin, your ID is equal to 3N plus R minus 3N minus the number of internal pin. So, in this uh, figure, there are 3 members, there are 6 reactions, and there are 4 joints. In minus ko, jay, may sanga internal pin. That's why my ID is equal to 2. It, uh, in the post-test for problem number 2, we're in the, my answer for the total number of degrees of freedom for figure 1 is 13. Paano ko nakuha si 13? Again, this is a truss. So, since truss siya, first thing I have to do is to count the number of nodes excluding the supports. So, in this figure, there are 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 nodes. So, there are 6 nodes. And as discussed uh, a while ago, if this is a trust, there are 2 displacements for every node. So, I have to multiply these 6 nodes by 2. My answer now is equal to 12. After taking into account the nodes, you have to consider now the supports. Now, at point A, Point A, hindi siya magmove horizontally kasi meron si HA na nagpre-prevent ng movement. Same through, at A, there will be no uh, vertical movement because of the reaction coming from VA. But at point B, since this is a uh, roller support, ang sa roller kasi, ang reaction lang is vertical. So that is VB. Since walang reaction na sa horizontal, there's a tendency for point B to move horizontally. So I have to take into consideration that movement. So I have to add 1. So 12 plus 1, doon ko nakuha si 13. Now for figure number 2. For figure 2, this is a frame. So, since this is a frame, again, first thing I have to do is to count the number of nodes. There are 1, 2, and 3 nodes for this frame. There are 3 nodes. 
Now, since this is a frame, I have to multiply these three nodes by the number of displacement per node. Now, if I'm going to draw the deflection for this frame, this frame looks like this. So, as you can see, if I'm going to consider this node, itong si node D, if I'm going to look at node D, this node moved horizontally. Uh, this node also moved vertically. And since there is a moment coming from point E, there is a rotation. Same through with point B. If I'm going to consider now point B, as you can see here, point B moved horizontally. It also moved vertically. And there, since there is a moment, there is a rotation at a certain angle. So, there are three displacements. So, I have to multiply these three nodes by three displacements. So, there are nine displacements for the nodes. After considering the nodes, I have now to consider the support. Since uh, fix itong CE, it will not move horizontally because of HE. It will not also move vertically because of VE. And it will not rotate since there is a moment that counteracts the rotation. But at point A, hindi rin siya mag-move horizontally because of HA. It will not also move vertically because of VA. But it will rotate at a certain angle, theta. So, I have to account that 1 plus 1. So, 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. Doon ko nakuha yung mga answers na yan. So, I hope this is clear to you. Uh, in This may help in computing for your laboratory exercises. Uh, may nag-question. Uh, may nag-question, paano daw kung ganito yung frame? Paano makukompute yung degrees of freedom? So, I just want to show you how to determine the degrees of freedom kapag ganito yung frame. First thing, kagaya ng ginawa ko kanina, I have to count first the number of nodes. So, for this frame, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 nodes. So, there are 6 nodes. And I have to multiply this by the displacements. Now, again, Yung itong line na nakikita nyo, itong broken lines na to, na kulay red, those are the exaggerated deflections for this frame. So, if I'm going to consider this node, itong node na to, there are movements. So, nag-move siya horizontally, nag-move din siya vertically, and again, since this is a fix, Itong part na to, fix ito, always remember kapag fix support, meron tayong vertical reaction, meron tayong horizontal reaction, and there is a moment. Kapag fix support, since there is a moment, itong node na to will rotate at a certain angle. So, as you can see, there are three displacements. So, for every node, Itong mga nodes na nakikita nyo, may mga displacements yan. These are the displacements for every node. And since there is a moment, lahat ng nodes ay magro-rotate. So, I have to multiply 6 nodes by 3. So, there are 18 displacements at nodes. After determining the possible components of displacements at nodes, I have now to consider the supports. Dito sa my fixed support na to, again, walang movement dito, walang displacement because of the reactions. But, punta tayo dito kay hinge. Since this is a hinge, there is a vertical reaction. There is a uh, horizontal reaction. Itong part na to, hindi siya magmove vertically and horizontally because of the reactions. Pero, Magro-rotate itong point na to. Why? Because there is a moment at the fixed support. So, there is a rotation at this part, at this node. Same through with this support, mayroon tayong vertical. 
meron tayong horizontal reaction. But, and since there is a moment, magro-rotate ito at a certain angle. So, as you can see, dito sa support na to, meron tayong isang displacement. Sa support na to, meron din tayong isang displacement. Now, we go at this roller support. Now, for roller support, isa lang ang reaction natin, that is vertical. Wala siyang reaction na horizontal. Since walang reaction na horizontal, there's a possibility na itong node na to mag-move horizontally. So, as you can see, may, may displacement siya. Now, since there is a moment, magro-rotate din itong node na to. So, dyan sa may roller support, may dalawang displacement. So, if I'm going to add all the displacements, 18 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2, I have 22. Therefore, itong frame na to, there are 22 degrees of freedom. Now, I hope this video will help you. If there are any questions, kindly PM me or type in dun sa my GC.